Now there's something on this tree that even I don't need my glasses for. I think it's there. This is the Privet Hawk Moth, an absolute belter of a moth, a stunning species and impressively large too. It's the UK's largest native species and in size and wingspan, wingspan is about six inches in most individuals, it rivals the more rarer species like Convolvulus Hawk Moth. It's pretty much the same wingspan as Death's Head Hawk Moth, but Death's Head Hawk Moth is considerably chunkier than this. Death's Head Hawk Moth is pretty much a Hawk Moth that's been on steroids. It's the bodybuilder of Hawk Moths, a stonkingly large brute of a moth. But Privet Hawk Moth here is, in its own right, absolutely beautiful. The hind wings, when visible, usually when the moth feels under threat or it has been disturbed, it will take, move the wings out, expand the wings, fan them out to expose the pink hind wings. And the hind wings are beautifully patterned with a mixture of light pink and some darker, almost black banding, coupled with a similar combination of colours on the abdomen. It makes a startling sight for any would be predator really to be honest this is as i say a very large species grubby finger time that's how large a moth this is and you've actually seen this insect before but not in this form because last summer sometime last summer i think it might have been july i actually found the larva and i reared that larva and you're looking at the result of it. The larva was found in the churchyard at Edwinstow on Privet. Privet hawk moth larva are very easy to breed and they're impressively large as a caterpillar in their own right. And this is the resulting moth a number of months later. They tend to pupate quite deep into the ground as well and they wander off the food plant a long way so you're probably unlikely to find Many privet hawk moth pupa are digging under your garden privet hedge. But the moths are readily attracted to light. I've had this species at home on a couple of occasions, including two on one particular night. But it's had an interesting history in Nottinghamshire, this moth. This magnificent hawk moth really has been quite impressive in its range expansion into and across Nottinghamshire. It started 20 or so years ago with the first records for a number of years appearing in the south east of the county. That was the main stronghold and then records started appearing further east and north in the county up around the Newark area. And the moth over a number of years has steadily progressed northwestwards and westwards across Nottinghamshire. It's now reached across the entire county. An impressive feat, even for a moth of this size. But as someone who likes records and enjoys looking at records and the trends found within various species of moths here in Nottinghamshire, this has been a really nice story to, to watch develop over the years. But there again, I like anything that's a success story of a species that moves in, colonises and spreads and increases its range in Nottinghamshire. This has just been an absolute cracking example. I've had it now, say, in my garden a couple of occasions and it can occasionally be found at rest by the day, such as this one on a tree trunk or it will often turn up on fences during the day and its large size often alarms people Sometimes they can be found in cop, and the pair will stay in cop throughout the day. It is a wonderful moth. 
an absolute cracking moth and one that many people always like to see but there again in the moth world size often matters people like something that's large and in the UK they don't come any larger than this in terms of native species it's a beauty of a thing and thankfully a lot more common now and widespread than it was 20 or 30 years ago